This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. A couple of days ago, Apple held this education event where they talked about some of the ways that Apple's going to be incorporating some of their products into the education world to help our students, especially here in the United States, because we definitely do need the help as far as where we rank amongst other countries as far as education, reading, math, and things like that. Um, but Apple's trying to make this own little footprint inside of this whole whole mold here to kind of mold it in a way where it can be better for the students for the future. So it looks like everything's going to be driven through the iPad. And the first big thing they talked about was the new iBooks 2 the new application that's available right now um, in the iTunes App Store for absolutely free. And it's gonna be make it very, very easy for people to get their textbooks, especially high school students that can get their textbooks uh, very easily now. And most of the books are gonna be, well, they have to be, looks like they're gonna have to be $14.99 or less. There are some free books in there as well. And they're always gonna be up to date and the students will own their copy. And the, the main problem with the textbooks in, in uh, classroom today is that they're mostly hand-me-downs. They're gonna be, they, they've been around for years and years and they definitely show their wear and tear. And Apple made a really good point just just showing some of the textbooks and I remember when I was in high school some of my textbooks just absolutely sucked uh, so this iPad would make it way way easier for that and it's being more of a control as far as the distribution as far as these books the the, the teachers or the school system be able to hand out promotion codes and things like that to the students uh, to be able to do it and also just navigating through a book in this new um, this new application is very very fun and very very easy All right, so now I'm gonna give you a quick little demo of the new iBooks application now the the icon and, and the way it looks far as the uh, the onset here doesn't really look that much different here but I'm gonna go ahead and launch this book and this is the life on earth book one of the uh, first books uh, for the first textbooks that's made for the iBooks too and it does take a little while to load uh, I don't know how it is for all other books but this book does take a little while to load but anyway it, it picks up right where I left off but I can actually pinch uh, pinch in I'll actually come back out here to the table of contents and uh, if you want to this is the video that plays uh, when you first open up the book for the first time, it's a nice little introduction to it, so it's nice, but you can always skip that if you wanted to. Um, so right here in the view, what I'm showing you here, I'm in, in the table of contents, and I can scroll through at the bottom here uh, during the different sections or different pages um, in this chapter here, or I can go to the next chapter just like so. Again, I can continue to scroll and tap where I want to go to just like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the uh, chapter here, and I'm going to go ahead and start swiping through the book. And so this is kind of looks like any book or magazine that you've used on the uh, um, the iPad before, but it's really cool the way you interact with it. So I do have this video here that I can go ahead and start playing. I can just pinch to open that up, and it'll go ahead and start playing the video just like that. Biology. Or I can pinch out just like that to go ahead and close it, but the video will continue to play. And I can pause and stuff like that, different controls. You still have the airplay controls and things like that inside of it. Same thing for a picture. You can pinch and zoom to get a picture or pinch and pinch out. Uh, to get out of the picture itself um, and so everything seems it works pretty pretty smoothly as far as this book and again this is just going to be a, a better way for students to learn when you actually have you're not just sitting there reading text you can actually look at stuff and, and see examples of these different things and then make things better now another cool thing is note taking inside this application itself so you just tap and hold anywhere in the article um, you can slide down just like that onto the this this port right here that I want to remember for later. Then I can tap on it, and you have different options. You can change the uh, color. Let me get over here so you can see it. You can change the color if you wanted to. All right, so now I'm going to tap on this, and now I can make this a a note card if I wanted to. So I can go ahead and title this ants, like so, and get out of that. And now I can just tap anywhere on here and access the, the note section here. And so now I have that little section that I made a note. Now you can easily create this as a study card. It automatically does it for you. So now if you're studying, you know, trying to cram for a test, now you have the card right here with the information. And that, that is titled Ants. And I can go in and see that, that highlighted section that I went through. And then you can tap through and go through different key terms that were in the chapter just like so. And these were already created here. And you can slide anywhere you want to, any way you want to, just like that. So it's pretty cool. They also talked about and released the iBooks author, which is available in the Mac App Store. Again, this is free as well. This will allow for almost anybody to go in and make their own free book. And it doesn't have to be a textbook. It can be a comic book. It can be a, a, a drawing book. It can be whatever book that you want it to be. Uh, but it's a very easy application to go in. Well, it may not be totally easy, but it's an easier application, easier way to make a book. Uh, to release on the uh, in the app store there for the iBooks application. So that's available right now for free as well. And then he also talked about iTunes U, which, which is now becoming its own application. You can get the iTunes U app, again, free, again, in the iTunes app store, uh, which will allow uh, universities to, again, they, they already been doing this. This is my first time actually checking it out when I, when I started using it. Uh, but it allows universities to give classes and courses um, through their um, application itself on the iPad. All right, so overall, what I think about this Apple event, well, I think it's going to be a win-win for school systems. It's a more streamlined way for uh, this to get the books out and to get them out to their students too they don't have to worry about wear and tear um, um, and three is going to be probably cheaper in the long run for them and then for students you have all your
your books in one central location. Um, you don't have to worry about carrying around books or forgetting one certain book at home. You have everything with you. Um, and then also to the price point, again, of these books are going to be very affordable, especially for college students. It's going to be very, very affordable for you. Um, I know when I was in college, I had to spend, you know, $300, $400 sometimes on books. And that just at the end of the semester, I didn't need it anymore. So um, this will definitely save the money. But it was still a long ways off before we see the thing as a commonplace. Um, this, but I think this is a, a right step in, uh, in the right direction for Apple as far as making this one other notch under the iPad's belt to make it still one of the top tablets out there and, and the top tablet out there. Let me say that uh, by, by adding this education level inside of it. So anyway, guys, it's just my thoughts about the education event. But before we head out here, it's going to take one that's look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Jack Thread. Jack Thread is the coolest place online to get the latest clothes from popular brands like Stussy and Hurley and Kid Robot. You can get clothes, you can get t-shirts, which are clothes too, but you can get um, sunglasses, hats, shoes, belts, you can get all types of accessories. But the cool thing about this is up to 80% off of the regular price. It's not a bad deal at all. But this is an invite-only club, but since you are a Soldier Knows Vest viewer, so that means you're watching me right now, uh, you can go ahead and get an invite to the club right now. If you go to jackthreads.com forward slash SKB, you're going to get access to all these cool clothes for very low price again go to jackthreads.com forward slash skb all right guys again thanks for watching this video please leave a comment down below about what you think about this education event i know it wasn't anything spectacular but the ipad 3 event should be right around the corner so we'll be ready for that but anyway leave a comment down below about what you think about the new ibooks and all that stuff and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace